So big news coming in. A controversy is now brewing over senior Congress leader Saifuddin Saw's detention in his house in Srinagar. When India Today's Shujaul Haq went into his house, Saw's tried to leave his house but was stopped by the police officials. He then stood at the compound wall and then spoke to us but then was stopped by police officials who dragged him back and then shouted at India Today's team to leave immediately. In fact, the government interestingly just yesterday told the Supreme Court that Saw's wasn't detained or stopped from moving out of his residence. Things on ground, however, tell a different tale as the senior Congress leader has said now that he will move Supreme Court with this regard. Remember, the government has uh, had earlier clarified that Soros is not in detention, but here it appears that the police stopped him when he was just attempting to move out of his house. Let's take a quick listen what really transpired. जो 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 told us before he was taken away by the police. Let's take a quick listen as to what the senior Congress leader said to our India Today reporter Shujaul Haq. Supreme Court के सामने government ने कहा हमें three person लेकिन यहाँ ये लोग नहीं मानते हैं ये कहते हैं ऊपर से order है अब मैं उसका क्या कर सकूँ ये आप देखते हैं शहरी आजादी को क्या हो गया I am Gubai से I have decided to go to the court for whatever it is worth Supreme Court के सामने झूठ बोला जाता है इसको आप तो highlight कर ही सकते हैं we are outside uh, the house of senior Congress leader uh, Saifuddin Soz. Uh, uh, yesterday, the Supreme uh, in the uh, in the Supreme Court, the government has basically said that uh, uh, there were no uh, detention orders uh, uh, for Saifuddin Soz. Uh, he was allowed to go out, but uh, today when we came here, he was not allowed to come out of his house. In fact, he tried to uh, come out and speak to us. Uh, his uh, security guards and the police that uh, has been deployed here uh, clearly did not allow him to. Uh, do that. Uh, Saifuddin Soz and his family has been saying that uh, he has uh, similarly been kept in his house for uh, many months, uh, particularly since the abrogation of Article 370 last year. In Senegal for India today. Let's quickly cut across to Shuja Ulhaq joining us live for more details. Shuja, this is quite um, shocking. While the government very clearly says that Saifuddin Saws is not detained, he's free to move out of his residence. And what was the reason for uh, the police officials there to detain him right when Saws was having a word with you? He was speaking to you from his compound wall. He tried to move out of his house. Right then, cops came and pulled him back in. And and then allow him to come out. This is not. Uh, this is this is by no means a free man. Uh, what what really is happening on ground? Is it really uh, as opposed to what the government is saying? So uh, Saifuddin Soz is indeed in detention. Well, a few things are very clear here, uh, Nabila. Number one, he is not a, a, a able to go come out of his house. We tried to speak to him. He himself uh, tried to force his way out. He was stopped by uh, the guards posted at his house. In fact, they even asked us to move away from uh, the gate. So, when the government says that uh, Saifuddin Soz uh, is not under detention or he is free to move out, uh, that is uh, clearly not visible on the ground. The ground reality is very different. The family in itself has been saying that uh, this is exactly how it has been happening for many months, Saifuddin Soz, particularly since uh, the uh, abrogation of Article 370 last year, uh, has been kept inside his house, uh, in a sense, house arrested. Uh, the affidavit that the government filed in the uh, Supreme Court said that uh, there was no detention detention order. It was basically on the habeas corpus petition that was filed by Saifuddin Sons' wife, uh, you know, challenging his uh, uh, house arrest. The government there said there was no detention, so there was no question of uh, issuing an order or giving an order to the family. But here on the ground, 
as you saw in these pictures, uh, the reality is very different. Uh, we haven't really gotten any clarity from the government side or uh, the local authorities side as to why exactly, you know, was he kept uh, inside his house uh, when, the, you know, the official stand of the government was completely different. We're hoping to hear from them. But what happened today in the morning with us is uh, clearly, uh, you know, visible in these picture. he, pictures. He was trying to speak to us, in fact, tried to, you know, uh, uh, come out of his house. He wasn't allowed, uh, was very, uh, you know, uh, forcefully, uh, in a sense, whisked away uh, while he was talking to us and giving a sense of what he felt. He, while he was talking to us, he said that the government was lying to the uh, Supreme Court. He was again saying that he will once again go to the court and seek some relief in this regard. Right. Um, Sujat, what, what we see here uh, is, is quite shocking. While the government says that uh, Saifuddin Soz is a free man, he's allowed to step out here. It's uh, an event where you reached out to him, and right when he was having a, uh, communication with you, he was pulled back by the police officer, and then he wasn't allowed to step out. Let's take a listen. In fact, go through the sequence of events. Right when you approached Saifuddin Soz, what really happened, what he spoke to you, and how he was pulled down by the police right after. सुप्रीम कोर्ट के सामने गवर्नमेंट ने कहा हम एक फ्री पर्सन लेकिन यहां ये लोग नहीं मानते हैं ये कहते हैं ऊपर से ऑर्डर है अब मैं उसका क्या कर सकता हूं ये आप देखते हैं शहरी आजादी को क्या हो गया आई एम गो बाय से आई हैव डिसाइडेड टू गो टू द कोर्ट और व्हाट एवर इट इज वर्थ सुप्रीम कोर्ट के सामने झूठ बोला जाता है इसको आप तो हाईलाइट कर सकते कोर्ट के सामने इस गवर्नमेंट ने उस गवर्नमेंट ने कहा कि सोचो आप जाओ 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 the Supreme Court ke samne is government ne us government ne kaha Right, uh, Shuja, here, uh, Sauls is not allowed to leave his house, but did you try and have a word with any of the government representatives there to try and find out what's the reason that Sefuddin Sauls is being de detained in his house? They've, uh, to the Supreme Court, very clearly said that he's not in detention. Then what's the reason he's being pulled back? Any other uh, reactions from authorities there? Uh, Nabila, like I was pointing out, uh, you know, uh, no reaction, no clarity as of now uh, as to what exactly was happening and what really were the orders. You know, you saw him, uh, he himself was saying that uh, though the, uh, in the Supreme Court, uh, the government has officially said there was no detention order, uh, but uh, why, when he speaks to his, uh, uh, you know, uh, those uh, policemen who are posted at his house, they tell him that uh, the, you know, the higher-ups have uh, uh, told them not to allow him to move out. So what exactly was, uh, uh, you know, uh, the, uh, what exactly was the official stand uh, when it comes to the police and the other security agencies who are, uh, you know, uh, dealing with this is something that we'll have to really know. But uh, at this point of time, the thing that is clear is that he certainly does not look like a free man. He certainly does not look like someone who is, you know, allowed to come out or go out, uh, you know, at his own free will. Uh, if, you know, if you, uh, if you see the news reports that have come in about uh, that, uh, you know, that Supreme Court uh, affidavit that the government has filed, uh, there were certain things that were mentioned there, saying that uh, there was no detention of, uh, of him. He had been allowed to move out at least a couple of times. Also uh, saying that uh, there was no bar on his movement except uh, when the local authorities feel, you know, the security uh, uh, agencies feel that it is necessary uh, to stop him. So, but what is the criteria of that is something that we do not really know at this point of time. It was really, uh, really shocking to see how he was treated at his own house, uh, you know, when he was tr just trying to speak to us from above uh, his compound wall. You saw in these pictures, while he was trying to speak to us, saying that he will once again knock the doors of the court, and see, uh, seek relief uh, on what is happening on the, on the ground with him. He was whisked away uh, uh, quite forcefully, as you can see in these pictures. Uh, after a point of time, he was taken down 
from where he was talking to us. Then we heard him arguing with those, uh, you know, cops. He is telling them how can he be at ease when he is not allowed to move out. Uh, the cops clearly telling him that he cannot uh, be there. So those are the things that are happening on the ground. So it's in a sense a reality check on what is really, uh, you know, happening on the ground and what is being officially stated to the court. Right, Trija, thank you very much for joining us with those details. A lot of explanation that needs to be given out by the government. Authority is there who claim initially that SOS is not detained, but here clearly the picture is not what is spoken. Hi everyone, Preeti Chaudhary here. Hope you like this video. For latest news and analysis, like and subscribe to the India Today YouTube channel. And don't forget to press the bell icon to stay updated. Thank you for watching.